Did you know that 60 million Americans are affected by chronic pain? Here in our center, we're trying to do something about that every day. We have many, many projects, but the overall goal of what we do is to better understand why people develop chronic pain and ultimately develop non-opioid treatments to help people suffer less. Here are some of the projects we're working on. One of the things I research is low back pain. Low back pain is the leading cause of disability worldwide, and 40% of individuals with low back pain have pain originating from the degeneration of their intervertebral discs. We collect these intervertebral disc samples from individuals with low back pain who are getting them removed for spinal fusion surgery. Then we use a lot of exploratory techniques to identify novel, non-addictive targets for the treatment of discogenic low back pain. After we identify these targets, then we have various techniques we use to validate them on human sensory tissue. We hope that we're able to identify a target that can help alleviate pain in the near future. About 38 million people in the U.S. live with diabetes, and almost half of those people will develop some form of nerve damage. This is called diabetic peripheral neuropathy, which usually work by numbness, tingling, and electrical shooting pain in your hands and feet. To understand disease progression and pinpoint when the neurons are vulnerable, we use a technique called single cell RNA sequencing. This lets us look at specific mRNAs inside individual sensory neurons from donors with or without diabetic peripheral neuropathy to see how they differ. One of the techniques we use is spatial proteomics, where we cut out single neurons using lasers and analyze their proteins with mass spectrometry. By combining these tools, we can pinpoint what goes wrong inside these neurons and identify new targets for treating pain in diabetic peripheral neuropathy. 